Hi guys, welcome back to Learning with Pets. Today, we're going to learn about butterflies. Butterflies are my most favorite insect. I like them because they are so colorful and there's thousands of different kinds of them. And many of them are really colorful and have patterns on them. I love patterns as well. The life cycle of a butterfly consists of four parts. The first one is egg. The second one, caterpillar. Third one, pupa. Fourth one, adult. And that's my favorite one because that's when it becomes a butterfly. They look so cute when they become a butterfly, don't they? Okay. Usually, butterflies mate during the spring and the summer. A few hours after mating, the females will lay the eggs. The interesting fact though about this is that the female won't just lay eggs on any plant. It would walk over the plant first and test it to see which one to lay the eggs on. Egg counts range from 1 to 1,500. Dang, that's a lot, don't you think? Sometimes it takes months for for butterflies to hatch from their eggs. Sometimes just a few days. Now, getting on with the second one, an uh, interesting one, caterpillars. Caterpillars hatch from eggs that is coming out of it. Caterpillars eat green plants and grow really fast. Caterpillars mold their skin several times during their life cycle. Molding their skin means discarding the outer layer. Then a new layer comes, which is more elastic than the last one, and it helps make it grow. Then it changes to the hard shell, unmoving stage pupa, also known as the chrysalis. Caterpillars first select a spot to turn into the pupa because it really should care about its protection. I told you, right? It's an unmoving stage. That's why. Based on the surroundings, the color and size vary. Also for added protection. Finally, when the metamorphosis the meaning of that is the end of all the growing stages. The chrysalis or pupa cracks open and a beautiful butterfly flies out. What a tremendous change from the unmoving chrysalis or pupa to the beautiful butterfly we see right now. Butterflies do not have teeth. They use their proboscis, which is like a straw, to sip nectar from flowers. They also help spread pollen from flower to flower, from tree to tree. Trees and flowers need pollen to grow. An interesting fact is that butterflies have wings that look just like flowers and leaves. This is good camouflage. They use this camouflage for protecting them from enemies, such as birds, spiders, and frogs. Species of butterflies whose caterpillars feed on grass are called grassland butterflies. My favorite one in the grassland butterflies is called Beautiful Blue. These, bu these species of butterfly can be found in Europe. You can differentiate butterflies literally only by their wings. Some have irregular shaped ones, some have um, colorful ones, some have camouflaged banded ones, some have red spots, some have blue spots. There are lots of different kinds of wings for butterflies. If you have interest on butterflies, just go to your local library, get some books, read them, because there are so many colored ones, so many different colors. 
I hope you guys liked today's topic. If you did, click the like, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys later.